your side forecast with Rachel Garceau. 549 right now on your Monday after the Super Bowl. Hope everyone's waking up okay this morning, having a cup of coffee maybe after all the junk food we ate yesterday, right? 43 degrees is our current temperature, so you're waking up to a pretty mild morning. The wind has picked up just a little bit though out of the southeast. 11 miles per hour right now for Boise. Relatively calm winds everywhere else. Mountain home getting a bit breezy though. We do expect the wind to be one of our weather headlines for today. It'll get downright gusty at times throughout this morning. There is mountain snow falling. It has been falling off and on all weekend. This is a live look at the Sun Valley snow stake. I know it's kind of hard to see the numbers here, but this is about seven inches. We'll call it since last night, and they saw about 15 inches already over the weekend. So no wonder there is a winter storm warning in place for areas like Sun Valley, Haley, Ketchum up into Stanley because of what is happening right now. Avalanche warning in place for eight o'clock this morning for Cascade, McCall, parts of the West Central Mountains there, and this flood advisory still in place through this afternoon for areas that include Weezer and Ontario. So Malheur, Payette, Canyon and Washington counties all under that flood advisory because of the melting that we've been seeing. It is welcome melting. We need to get rid of the snow, but of course it also comes along with some of that flooding. Look at what has been happening in the Pocatello area. Some thunderstorms rolling through. There's that snow we've been seeing in areas like Sun Valley and Haley. We are just seeing light scattered rain showers right now across the valley. Not much happening in the west end of the valley or even in the Boise area, but heading up into the mountains. We're already seeing a little bit of snow develop there, but it could likely fall as rain in areas like McCall. It's still in the mid 30s for McCall this morning. So we have this milder air that is coming out ahead of a cold front, and that's going to result possibly in some thunderstorm activity as this colder air approaches. So that is a likelihood for this afternoon in the mountains and here in the valley. It's slim chance of thunderstorms greater chance of rain showers throughout the day. So as the cold front sweeps through, it's going to drop our temperatures pretty dramatically tonight. But we get to enjoy a nice, mild, but rather wet day before all that happens. So here we are this afternoon. Expect that scattered rain, a uh, mix of rain and snow as you get up into areas like Idaho City and then snow above about 5,000 feet. We will see snow down here on the valley floor very likely by tomorrow morning. This is 730 Tuesday morning commute time. Don't be surprised to see some flakes falling tomorrow. We could accumulate up to an inch or so. Temperatures will drop down into the mid 20s only get into the upper 30s tomorrow, but the snow and the cold temperatures will be short lived. So by tomorrow evening, we'll see things dry up a bit. A chance of showers pops up again overnight Wednesday, and then we dry up a bit for Wednesday. Temperatures will warm for Thursday and Friday back up to near 50 degrees. So by the time we see more rain come in on Thursday, it will be rain. It will not be snow as temperatures will just be too warm to warrant any more snow. So tomorrow it will be short lived, but don't be surprised to see some snow on the ground when you head out tomorrow morning for today. Just scattered rain showers off and on mild temperatures again called well we'll see 48 degrees this afternoon Boise won't change a whole lot today we'll have a right around 43 to 44 degrees throughout the day 41 for Idaho City that's why we're calling it that mix of rain and snow throughout the day likely rain showers this morning rain and snow from a call and then as you get above 5,000 feet we'll see that snow start to accumulate throughout the day same story for the East Central Mountains where that winter storm warning is in place through tonight two to four inches possible throughout the day there we've already seen again seven inches overnight in Sun Valley mild conditions for Twin Falls but very windy there as well. Winds 10 to 20 miles per hour gusting up to about 30, but getting to 47 this afternoon for Twin Falls. There's that change in conditions for tomorrow, starting off at 25 degrees tomorrow morning, getting up to 38 with that snow coating the ground by tomorrow morning. Then temperatures warm back up 43 with a chance of rain on Wednesday, up near 50 again for Thursday and Friday. We'll still have to come